So now that the plan has been drawn and we've got all of our property details information in there, we've got a couple of floors planned, uh, we're ready to publish it. So there are two steps you need to undertake to publish a, an interactive floor plan to your site. Um, one step you want to do is you want to change the status of the property to published. If it's not in the published state, you can't produce a URL that you would add to your website. So the first thing we're going to do, and you'll notice right now it's in the created state, we can change it to the published state. And you can do that from the actual property that's opened in Icovia or through your Manage Properties screen. You can also change the state there. But we're just going to change it to published. It's updating the status. It has been updated. I'm going to save the plan as well. Just make sure we got the latest greatest saved. And now we're ready to generate the URL, which is as easy as saying create property URL. That pops up. This is the URL you would copy and add to your site. But you have a couple of options here. Um, one, uh, you can choose between Icovi ID or listing number. All that does is that changes this number after the equal sign. So if it's easier for you to include the listing number that you entered when we first created the plan and the Icovi ID, you have that control. Um, it doesn't really matter, it's just a preference. And you can also select branding or no branding. The, this area here where it has um, your uh, information that's specific to you, what we call the branding, uh, a lot of the MLSs won't allow you to have that branded information. And if you are publishing it to an MLS or an area that doesn't allow that, all you have to do is click on the no branding link and it will produce that property without it. But for now, we're going to do it with the branding link. So once you have that there, you can configure the way you want. You just copy that out and you hit close. And now you have a link of a plan that's ready to be published. And you can do a couple of simple things. I'm first going to close this to show you that we're no longer in this plan anymore. We're completely out of the Icovi application. And what you would do is you would go to your site and, and you would have your web developer or you could easily do it yourself. You would add an, a link and, and here we create it as an interactive floor plans link. But you would add a link and you would paste in that URL. Uh, we haven't pasted it in here. So what I'm going to do is the URL that we just copied, I'm just going to paste it up here in the URL window and I'm going to launch it. And it, this is the exact same as if someone had clicked on that link from your listing. You'll see that this planner pops up for the potential buyer with your branding on it. And uh, it launches this exact floor plan. And you'll notice that um, it, it's everything that we showed it to be. You can click right on the photo and it pops up the photo of that. You can click on the property details screen and it pops up all that information we put in. And if I decide that I really like this and I want to save it or I want to print it or I want to share it, when I go to do that as a potential buyer, it prompts me to register. And when I put that information in, it is uh, emailed immediately to the agent and it generates that registered profile contact for the agent. So it's a great lead generator from the traffic that's already at your site. Okay, now we're going to um, show you how you can access that lead information. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take you to your own reporting tool. So if you just go to realestate.icovia.com slash reports, it'll get you to that reporting tool. You also get your own direct link when your new account is set up. Um, and you can log in here. I'm going to log in um, as myself. So what we've got here is um, uh, a dashboard view of all of the performance and metrics on my planner. And it shows you basically user activity over all time. And these are all coded. So how many um, of my properties have been viewed in Icovia? How many registrants has it created? Saves, prints, shares, how many visit requests have occurred? It also shows you a quick summary of how much has happened in the last 30 days. And then it also shows you based on properties the most views you've had, these properties have been viewed the most and how many times they've been viewed and uh, the most scheduled view requests and how many. And then there's some other ways to get at this information. But you're going to want to start to drill down. And for example, I could come into my contact screen. And over here on my contact screen, it's basically saying I want contact information of anybody who's uh, done anything on my planner that's had to register. So I'm seeing here the email addresses and the name and zip code information of any of these accounts. And I can just go ahead and click on any one of these headers and it'll sort that information. 
I can also um, go by date range and on any one of the reports you can export any of these reports to a file that you could then open in Excel or any other program to access that information. Some of the more interesting reports are like the properties. So I could sort by um, these properties and in this case I'm going to sort by what has been viewed the most. Okay, so in this case 213 Middle Street has been viewed 544 times. So I'm going to click on that and give a summary of exactly how that property is performing. It tells me the name of that property, the listing, the, the status, the agent information, and then based on this property, here are all the users that have um, saved, shared, or requested a visit. Here's the actions they've actually taken. And again, I can uh, export this report or, or sort it by any date range. It's a powerful uh, uh, reporting tool that allows you to just get more insights into the traffic on your site and allow you to use that contact information to be more proactive in working with the buyers that are on your site. That, that's a general summary of uh, how to create a plan in Icovia and how to access the reporting information on how your interactive floor plans are performing for you. There's certainly much more to Icovia and we're adding more and more features to the site that'll allow you to learn about those features easy enough. Thank you for watching this tutorial.